Hi, Papa Dr. Tochi here with today's class on how to isolate yourself from workplace or business drama. Are you working in a place where there's a lot of drama and they keep trying to rope you in? Well, today's class and little ritual is for you. Now, I'm going to ask you to try and ignore the um, noise in the background because there's a lot of construction going on here in my house and also in the background. So we're going to try our best today uh, to make this work. Okay, so get the notebook, get the pen, get the drink, get the snack, and we are going to learn something new today. Thank you for being in class today. I know you could be somewhere else, but you chose to be here today. A little bit of housekeeping. If you are a member of the family, thank you so much for being a part of my spiritual family. If you are a subscriber and financially supporting the work that I put out here, I doubly thank you. I couldn't do it without you. If you'd like to join on YouTube, please find and click on the join button that you find below or beside this video. If you'd like to join uh, and be a subscriber on Patreon, please find the description uh, about how to join that, the link below this video, okay? If you'd like to book me for your consultations, divinations, dream interpretations, Reiki therapy, um, just or just have a chat with me or get products and services, get books and other things, courses, please go to my website at tochi.us, T-O-C-H-I dot U-S. I don't do transactions outside of my website. That's to protect you and to protect me from scammers. Now let's get into today's class. There are some times we may be working in a place, we might like the job or we might like the work, but there's just so much workplace drama. There are people who are gossiping, who are backbiting, who are doing all kinds of strange things, and they're doing everything possible to rope you into their drama, rope you into their misery, okay? And, you know, maybe this where, that's where your, your, your paycheck uh, for your household comes from. You don't want to jeopardize your income. So you need to know how to protect yourself from that kind of nonsense, okay? First thing you need to do, even before you start doing any kind of ritual, you need to learn how to start practicing the law of silence. I do have a video class on the law of silence. I encourage you to go to my YouTube channel and look up that video. A lot of times we get ourselves involved in drama because we ourselves talk too much. We share too much and we share things that we have no business sharing. Remember, if you start sharing personal information about yourself at work, you're op you've opened yourself up for comments and feedback from other people. Remember, they cannot comment on something they don't know about you, okay? Now, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you are in alignment with your spiritual crew, okay? Because your spiritual crew is your first line of defense against that kind of thing that goes on in the workplace, all right? I know a lot of people are running out there and buying charms and amulets. They come and buy bracelets. They buy soaps, potions, and lotions. But eventually, those things will not work for you because they don't have the support of your spiritual crew. So make sure that you are in alignment with your spiritual crew. If you need to do a reconciliation ritual with them, please go to my YouTube channel and watch my video on reconciliation ritual. You also want to be in alignment with your ancestors, okay? And I do have another video class of that ancestor healing ritual, okay? Once you have all this foundation in place, you're not talking too much, 
you are in alignment with your spiritual crew, especially your ancestors, then the next thing you want to do is to do my ritual uh, uh, to keep away and protect yourself from negativity using one white candle and one um, black candle. That video is also on my YouTube channel, how to protect yourself, a simple ritual for protecting yourself from negativity. After you have done that, <laughs> I know you're going, Papa, Dr. Chochi, there's just a lot to do. Yes, because workplace drama, the backbiting, the gossip, the backstabbing, the storytelling can't rob you of peace of mind. There are a lot of people who don't have peace of mind. They have high blood pressure just because of what they endure at work. They're just under a constant state of stress. So yes, there's a whole bunch of things we need to do, okay? Now, after that, make sure that you have your cleansing in place. If you work in a toxic work environment, make sure you have, at the very minimum, weekly cleansing. Make sure you are cleansing yourself every week. Ideally, I would do every day, okay? If you're in contact with members of the public where you have to deal with people coming and going and you don't know what they're carrying, you want to start thinking about doing a daily cleansing bath for each day that you go into work and you work, you come home, you cleanse yourself, cleanse your home, okay? Make sure that you have an altar or a sacred space uh, where you go and regroup and gather yourself together. Now, the other thing that you need to do is from time to time, you would go to your workplace, okay? You can go there um, with ashes from your altar, okay? Pray over the ashes from your altar. And you don't need so much, it, too much. You just need just a little handful, okay? When you pray over it, the ashes from your altar, okay, that, you know, burn uh, leftovers from your incense and things like that, you will take that to your workplace. You make your invocations over them and blow them in the workplace. This is another way that you can protect yourself from the things that are going on there. And that activates or helps to activate the invocations you've made at, at your altar or your sacred space. It activates it in your workplace. We also have, um, and I think I did it with members, another uh, video class on a little something you can put together, little uh, spray, a liquid that you can also spray in your workplace. So if you are a member, I encourage you to go to the member only videos and look up that video, how to put that together and uh, put that, you know, very lightly. You don't need to spray it obviously all over the place in the workplace uh, to protect yourself. Another thing you can put in the workplace is some alligator pepper seeds. Speak over them, make your invocation over them, and sprinkle them in the office. Don't grind them because they're a little bit spicy. Just get a small handful and scatter them all over the workplace. And make sure that when you're making your invocations over those alligator seeds, you're speaking for peace. You're speaking for um, smooth work, the ability for you to do what you need to do in peace and quiet so that you can get your paycheck and be on your way, okay? All right, so I hope that that has helped you. If you've learned something, please say I in the comment section below the video. We are thankful to our creator, our guardian spirits, our ancestors, spirit guides, and all those in the unseen realms who teach us various ways to protect ourselves from the not-so-good people, Ashe.